Hi and welcome to this quick video. My name is Ayman Hattab. I'm a Microsoft Most Valuable Professional for four years in a row, focusing mainly on SharePoint Server and Office 365. I'm also the co-founder of all365forall.com. Today's video is all about external communication in Office 365 link online. And when I say external communication, I mean cross-organizational collaboration and communication by allowing people in one organization to connect to other people in another organization via link or even to connect to non-business users with no link accounts like family members for example so before starting our demo here's the scenario we have two organizations here the first one is called Contoso Mia and the second one is called SharePoint for Mia Contoso Mia has outsourced SharePoint for Mia to take care of its Office 365 tenant. Katie from Contoso Mia wants to be able to communicate with the SharePoint for Mia team via link. So some steps are needed before this could happen and we will see this in our demo. Also we want to extend the communication within both organizations one step further by enabling employees in both organizations to be able to add Skype contacts to link. That way, people can add individuals with no link accounts like customers, suppliers, or even family members. So let's start our demo and see this scenario in real environments. So I'm logging in now to the SharePoint for Mia um, tenant as the admin. I'm going to specify my password here and click sign in. This takes me to the Office 365 Admin Center. Uh, I need to go to uh, the link configurations. So I'll go to Admin, Link. From the left panel, I'll choose Organization. And I'll switch to the External Communications tab. And here I want to say that I want to turn on External Communications for some trusted domains and I'll specify those domains from here so I'm gonna click the plus sign and add contosomia.onmicrosoft.com as a trusted domain add and while I'm here I'll turn on the communication with Skype users then I'll need to scroll all the way down and click save and now I'll need to do the same from the other side I'll go to the uh, Contusumia tenant password click sign in and I'll need to do the same so I'll go to admin link organization external communications I'll say that I, I want to turn on the external access for some allowed domains I'll add SharePoint for Mia dot on Microsoft.com as a trusted domain or as an allowed domain click add turn on communication with Skype scroll all the way down and click save now I'm done with the configurations let's see this in action but before seeing this in action I want to bring to your attention that this might take up to 24 hours for network propagation so I'll pause the video for 24 hours and I'll be back to show you this in action so we're back now after 24 hours Katie is now uh, using link and she needs to add um, some employees from uh, SharePoint for Mia so she'll click add a contact add a contact a contact not in my organization choose link and enter the email address Ayman at SharePoint for Mia dot on Microsoft dot com click 
Click OK. And now Ayman has been added to her contact list. Let's see from Ayman's side. He receives a request and he adds Katie to his contacts list. So now they can communicate as if they are in the same organization. And they can actually use whatever link features uh, that have been turned on or allowed on both tenants. So uh, in my case they are using IM, uh, they can use um, uh, audio conferencing, video conferencing, whatever features that have been allowed uh, on both tenants. So let's see Skype integration in action. So it's the same process, but I'll need to specify a Microsoft account. So uh, I'll click Add add a contact not in my organization but this time I'll choose Skype and add a Microsoft account I'm gonna click cancel because I've already added my own Skype contact so let's see yeah here's my Skype contact now I can talk to myself I say hi Skype and from Skype I can say hi link very nice and easy and this concludes our demo thank you for your listening and see you in another video